What's up, Tesla Nation? Hey, welcome back to another edition of T4 Tesla. All right, hey, guess what? Big news. Newsflash, big news. I got permission. I got permission to turn the system on. All right, hey, come with me. Let's go turn it on, all right? You ready? Let's turn it on, ready? Psych, I already did it, come on. Kid in the candy store. As soon as I heard, um, as soon as they sent me the email, turn on, I went and flipped that sucker on. Sorry guys, but it's already turned on. It is awesome, okay? Everything's running as it should on my app, everything, I've been monitoring it, so it's great. I'm gonna give you a little bit of run through. Sorry, the last time, the last video was, um, was a little rushed because I was you know, so excited about everything being done and all that. So it's been several weeks, um, actually, not several weeks, probably about two and a half weeks or something that's been done. Um, um, I posted the, the other video just a week ago, so it looks like it was like only been one week, but it's been several weeks been going on. So sorry about that, guys. Uh, a little bit busy, so um, finished editing it. But basically, uh, I lucked out. Normally, they told me, um, normally they told me that it's gonna take about, um, about anywhere between um, you know three weeks to five weeks average is anywhere like a month but I lucked out um, and finally they sent me an email uh, a little less than two and a half weeks so I lucked out a lot of people said I lucked out on that I know there's a lot of people waited so so I got it going um, been playing around with it um, um, so I've been playing around with it you know um, looking at different things so I'm fairly new with it I'm I got a bunch of scenario I wrote down scenarios I'm gonna do other videos um, to go through it okay but today I just want to take you through a little bit more in depth I promise you it's um, I'm gonna you know do uh, more videos more in-depth videos on the system and how it's set up and how I want to configure it or, or how it changes my life and and how I had to um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna affect my life and I'm gonna have to change the things around my life okay one thing that I already changed just um, last night was that my salt water tank right the light artificial light turns on I had originally set it at 3 3 p.m. turn on and then turn off at you know start fading out turn at 11 but so the light during the winter time goes off you know a lot sooner than that so I mean, sorry, not a lot sooner, but in that time frame. So the light was sucks up a lot of juice. So what I did was I shifted the light during more of the daytime, so it utilizes the solar versus the battery. So that's how I save the battery. So see, these are little things that I um, I change and move around, and and so that that's gonna um, help out, you know, uh, preserve uh, the batteries here. Okay. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Well, actually, I think you can see it from here, but. If you guys take a look um, up here, these are the inverter, okay? You follow this line over here, over to this area right here, right? That line comes in from the solar, okay? Solar comes in through here, boom, through these are the two big inverter. So I guess the pan, my system is so big that they divide, divide, they divide it into two, um, into uh, two separate um, group of um, uh, panels and each one attached to an inverter so I have two inverters okay so it goes in and goes to the inverter comes out out here goes to the battery charge the battery okay charge the battery now the battery then sends the energy back goes through this line here into this box this is my pa main panel box this is where it supplies the entire house from you know the outlet plug to the 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 you know my my charger over on the other side for my Tesla all that so everything is um is uh runs through here so the electricity so the house will drain the battery first now once the battery goes down to a certain level low I said at 10 percent they recommended you go no less than 10 percent because how it was explained to me was you need about a 10 percent uh, reserve the reason for that is that when the when the solar kicks in it needs some energy to kickstart the system okay also also you need some energy to keep the battery warm or you know cool it down too okay so you gotta think about that keep it about 10% okay 
Um, so when it drains down to 10%, if the sun hasn't come up yet and charged the solar, right, then I will be drawing, drawing um, electricity from the grid, okay, forever how many, how much I need until the sun comes up and start, you know, um, using it for the house and charging the battery, okay. Um, I haven't really tested fully out yet in the next few weeks or so. I'm start testing out and do more videos, play around with some stuff. I'll let you know a little more detail, okay? But so that's how it works um, so far. Right now, I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna swing the camera here a little bit. Just come with me here, okay? I'm gonna take you through this, okay? Right now, you can see, I don't know if you can see it right now. I'm gonna try to zoom in, bear with me here. Try to zoom in. Actually, you know what, let's zoom in right here. I'm gonna keep the light low. Okay, so if you guys see the pulse right there, that means that it's being discharged. The, the house is using it right now. Now, if you see a fast pulse, Faster than that, you know, two or three times faster than that, that means something wrong with the battery. So, it'll, but the battery should alert and let the, the system know because Tesla's monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So they would know and all that and they know the health of the system, okay? Now, if you see that green light stays solid, that means it's, it's, um, it's fully charged and it's on standby, it's not in usage or if you tell it not to use, uh, to use it, okay? I will, um, um, there's, I will go a little more in depth later on, but um, on your, um, on your um, um, Tesla app, there's two ways you can set up your battery. You can set up your battery as a 100% emergency, or you can use, set it up as a self-generation um, self, uh, uh, setting, okay? What self-generation setting means is that it is going to, um, it's going to, um, uh, you know, in the daytime, it's going to charge, it's going to use it, and at night, it's going to discharge. So you're basically generating and using your power, okay? Now, the other one, 100% backup means is that um, you're just, you know, charging for a, the backup purpose. So so the battery could, will, won't be used unless a power goes out. So um, for some people, that's the, how they use it. But for me, that's not how I want to use it. I want to use it as self-generation, Okay. So um, I turn self generation. So uh, when the sun goes down, the solar's not kicking anymore, right? Um, these battery kicks in and supplement it. Uh, I mean, not supplement, but but um, but uh, supplement uh, the supplement the solar panel as the solar panel's um, uh, powered output is less. It'll supplement it until the um, until the solar completely goes out, and then the battery kicks in 100% and use it. it use it up all of it up before it goes to the grid okay so i hope that's a little bit a little bit of information there for you guys on that okay guys thanks for joining me for this uh, another episode of t for tesla uh, i'm here to bring you and share you with all the information um, uh, on tesla um, the battery and the solar and the car as my experience all trivecta all three coming together uh, unifying, uh, unifying all the usage of, uh, with using, you know, solar. Okay, so continue following my trip. Oh, before I leave, I want to um, say thank you, a big thank you to my small group of subscriber. This is a new channel. I'm new at this, so I really appreciate you guys coming along. There's only 12 of you guys, but I love you guys. You guys are a small group, but big to me. Okay. Uh, I appreciate the encouragement. Some of you guys sent um, um, sent me a, a note, um, some you know personal message, personal message, you know, telling me continue, share my experience, share little hiccups, little things, little change here and a little change there to to make um, the the experience, solo experience, and the car, the electric car experience, great. Um, so I really appreciate you guys. Um, keep on. Um, coming in if you guys have friends who like uh, what I do share with them I love sharing information I love teaching um, so I'll kind of continue on um, this journey and share as much as I can now um, future I mean I got so much idea in my head on how, what to share and what to experiment with and I'll share with you I mean uh, this uh, this whole thing is not just um, switching over to electricity I know the my site is 
is is T for Tesla, you know, and I love Tesla to that death, but it's also encompassed about um, living the, you know, living the um, self-sustaining life, okay? Um, as much as we can, of course, you know, in this day and age, we can't go without our cell phones, so all this other stuff, electronics, but in future videos and, you know, way down the road as it get better in this, you'll see uh, videos on, 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 you know, living off the land and then how to incorporate, you know, Tesla electricity off the land and all that stuff. So hang in there. I got big ideas for this channel. The more you guys write in encouraging me, the more thumbs up you guys give me, the more subscriber you guys give me. I mean, that gives me encouragement. So I just want to say thank you. Uh, until next time. All right. Remember in Elon, we trust in Elon. We trust peace out. See ya.